Hello friends, welcome back to a new video that is MCQs on Mendelian Genetics and this is the first part of this series of videos on Mendelian Genetics. Okay, so the first question of this video that is crossing of F1 heterozygous with the homozygous recessive parent is known as option A test cross, option B polycross, option C reciprocal cross or option D top cross. So the right answer about the F uh, about the F1 heterozygous with the homozygous recessive parent is option A that is test cross. So crossing of F1 heterozygous with the homozygous recessive parent is known as test cross. Okay. So let's move on to the next question that is if an individual of genotypes capital A small a, capital B small b, capital C small c and capital D small d that is a genotype, individual genotype is test crossed. How many different phenotypes can appear in the progeny? And the options are option A 16, option B 8, option C 32 or option D 64. So the right answer is option A that is 16. So, if an individual of genotype capital A small a, capital B small b, capital C small c, capital D small d is test crossed, how many different phenotypes can appear in the progeny? That is 60. Okay. So, let us move on to question number 3. That is, mitotic chromosomes are have high rate of protein synthesis or have high rate of DNA synthesis or option C show maximum chromosome condensation or option D have homologous recombination. So, the right answer about the mitotic chromosomes is option B that is have high rate of DNA synthesis. So, next question they can get next is question number 4 that is chromatin is formed by a repeating series of chromosomes containing option A DNA and histone chromosomal proteins, option B DNA and non-histone chromosomal proteins, option C double helical molecules of DNA or option D DNA, RNA and acidic proteins. So, the right answer is option A that is DNA and histone chromosomal proteins. So, chromatin is formed by a repeating series of chromosomes containing DNA and histone chromosomal proteins. Okay, so next is question number 5 that is a human with normal vision but with colorblind father marries a colorblind man. The fourth child of the couple is a boy. This boy option A may or may not be colorblind, option B must be colorblind, option C must have normal vision or option D will be partially colorblind due to being heterozygous. So, the right answer is option A that is may or may not be colorblind. So, a woman with normal vision but with colorblind father marries a colorblind man, the fourth child of the couple is a boy. So, this boy may or may not be colorblind. Okay. So, next question they can get next is question number 6. So, if a man of blood group AB marries a woman of blood group A whose father was of blood group O, to what different blood groups can this man and woman expect their children to belong? So, if a man with AB blood group marries a woman with a A blood group and whose and uh, this woman's father's blood group is O. So, what type of <coughs> blood groups can be expect in their children? So, options are option A, A or AB or B or option B, A or AB or option C, AB and O or option D. A O B. So, which type of blood group their children 
can be expected so option is right option is option a that is the children can be containing blood group a or ab or b okay so this is the right answer so let's move on to the next question that is question number seven so in the human abo blood system the alleles a and b are dominant to o so what will be the number of different possible genotypes so options are option a4 option b8 option c6 option d12 so the right one is option c that is six so in the human abo blood system the alleles a and b are dominant to o so what will be the number of different possible genotypes that is six okay so let's move on to question number eight that is bar i a dominant character in drosophila is due to option a point mutation option b the duplication of a chromosomal segment option c the deletion of a chromosomal segment option d the translocation between the x and y chromosomes so the right answer about the bar i of drosophila that is option b that is the duplication of a chromosome segment so bar i a dominant character in drosophila is due to the duplication of a chromosomal segment okay so let's move on to question number nine that is a 12 year old boy develops a disorder also present in his father no one else in the family is known to be affected which of the following modes of inheritance is least likely and the options are option a autosomal recessive option b autosomal dominant option c x linked recessive option d y linked so the right answer is option b that is autosomal dominant so a 12 year old boy develop a disorder also present in his father no one else in the family is known to be affected so which of the following modes of inheritance is likely sorry inheritance is least likely that is autosomal dominant so let's move on to question number 10 that is a diploid population having individuals with different chromosomes numbers ranging from 2n plus 3 to 2n minus 3 is a option a polyploid option b di uh, triploid option c aneuploid option d tridiploid so the right answer is option c that is aneuploid so a diploid population having individual with different chromosomes numbers ranging from 2n plus 3 to 2n minus 3 is a aneuploid okay so let's move on to question number 11 that is sex limited inheritance is option a occurs due to gene present on x chromosomes only or option b occurs due to presence of gene in only one sex or option c occurs as a result of individual sex hormones or option d does not occur in animals so the right answer about the sex limited inheritance is option c that is the sex limited inheritance occurs as a result of individual sex hormones okay so let's next question is question number 12 which one of the following phenomena leads to aneuploidy and the options are option a improper division of centromere option b d synapsis option c a synapsis or option d non disjunction and the right answer is option d that is non disjunction so which one of the following phenomena leads to aneuploidy that is non disjunction so next is question number 13 so human diseases caused by mutations in mitochondrial genomes are option a inherited from both parents option b they are inherited from the father or they are inherited from the mother or option d none of these and the right answer is option c that is they are 
inherited from the mother so human diseases caused by mutations in mitochondrial genome are inherited from the mother okay so next is when heterozygous black pigs are intercrossed then what is the chance of the first two offspring being black and the options are option a 46 option b 56 option c 66 option d 76 so the right answer is option b that is 56 so when heterozygous black pigs are intercrossed then what is the chance of the first two offsprings being black that is 56 percent okay so next question is question number 15 if a diploid cell contains six chromosomes how many possible random arrangements of homologous could occur during metaphase 1 and the options are option a 4 option b 8 option c 16 option d 64 and the right one is option a that is 4 so if a diploid cell contains six chromosomes how many possible random arrangement of homologous could occur during metaphase 1 that is 4 okay next is question number 16 law of in independent assortment is not applicable in case of option a gene segregation option b sex linked inheritance option c polyploidy option d conjugation and the right one is option d that is conjugation so law of independent assortment is not applicable in case of conjugation okay so let's move on to question number 17 that is a woman with blood group a gave birth to a baby with blood group ab the blood group of the father would be option a only ab option b only b option c either a b or b or option d blood group o so the right answer is option c that is either a b or b so a you woman with blood group a gave birth to a baby with blood group a b the blood group of the father would be either a b or b okay so the next question is among the following which genetic material is naturally inherited through maternal inheritance in higher plants and the options are option a nuclear dna option b plasmid dna option c chloroplast dna option d t dna and the right one is option c that is chloroplast dna so among the following which genetic material is naturally inherited through maternal inheritance in higher plants that is chloroplast dna okay so next question the king next is question number 19 so among among angiospermic plants the lowest chromosome number is found in option a haplopapus gracilis or option b crepis capillaris or option c arabidopsis thaliana or option d oenothora anothora lantracina lantracina so the right answer is option a that is haplo haplopapus gracilis so among these angiospermic plants the lowest chromosome number is haplopapus gracilis okay so the last question of this video that is if the garden p has 14 chromosomes in its diploid complement how many double trisomics could theoretically exist so the options are option is 6 option b 9 option c 16 option d 21 so the right one is option d that is 21 so if a garden p has 14 chromosomes in its diploid complement how many double trisomics could theoretically exist so that is 21 okay so these are all 20 question of this part one video on <coughs> mcqs on mendelian genetics okay so thank you for watching this video